Well, hello, welcome to One Man's Face. You know, man, I'd, I'd like to meet the guy that came up with that theme music there. Oh, I already know him. Oh, it was me. Ha! Oh, well, I like that tune. That's a, that's a nifty tune. Hey, welcome to One Man's Face. I don't know why I did that. That, that. that was bad. Okay, welcome to One Man's Face today. My name is Neil Owen, as it just flipped off the screen there. Glad you're with me as we continue to look into God's Word, and we're doing an Old Testament survey sort of, kind of, uh, for as long as we can. Uh, and it's based on the Scripture readings that we have posted online. Uh, so if you, if you don't have a formal outline to go by, hey, go to our website, www.nhfministries.org. There it is right there on the screen. And uh, on the left side, I think the second or third link says Bible reading. You click there, and it'll give you three months of uh, of reading, uh, and that's what that's kind of what I'm trying to follow. We don't because of all the material. I don't really get a chance to go through all of it, you know, of the reading that uh, for that week. But I'm trying. I'm trying. So I, you know, we'll continue to do that. I try to bring out some points that are that are there that. Uh, sometimes maybe you didn't think about uh, that are of interest. That's kind of what I'm going to do today. I got three kind of major points I want to look at today um, in, the, in our readings from uh, 2 Samuel chapter, I think, thir- 15. Chapter 15 over to 24. There are three things there that are really interesting to me. And so I just want to bring them, I want to bring them out to you. Uh, And so with that, hopefully you have your Bible already with you. You are eagerly waiting to see where I'm going to go. So let's go to 2 Samuel chapter 15. And we'll kind of finish out um, 2 Samuel. We won't quite get to the end, but... um, because I'm not looking at trying to go all the way through it. But listen, hey, get into the Word of God. It's got some really neat stuff, and you're going to miss it if you don't go through it. Plus, as I've said before, and I'm going to continue to say this, we need to know what the Word of God says. It's going to be very important. And well, I'll hold off on what I was going to say until we, until we read this passage here. All right, so 2 Samuel chapter 15. Let's just read the first six verses there. Now, it came about the, after that that Absalom provided for himself a chariot and horses and 50 men as runners before him. Absalom used to rise early and stand beside the way of the gate. And when any man had a suit to come to the king for judgment... Absalom would call to him and say, From what city are you? And he would say, Your servant is from one of the tribes of Israel. Then Absalom would say to him, See, your claims are good and right, but no man listens to you on the part of the king. Moreover, Absalom would say, Oh, that one would appoint me judge of the land. The only one that is judge of the land is the king. So that's what, he, that's, that's what he's alluding to. Then every man who has a suit or cause could come to me and I would give him justice. And when a man came near to prostrate himself before him, when anybody came near him as Absalom, he would put out his hand, take hold of him and kiss him. And in this manner, Absalom dealt with all of Israel who came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole away the hearts of the men of Israel. Interesting. Now, some things are going on here. But, it, you know, Absalom is the oldest son of David. But why is he out to get David? What has David ever done to him? Well, to see this, we've got to understand this. David was a great king. He was an awesome warrior, but he was a terrible dad. And that's what's going on here. And you need to see that. 
And to understand this, let's go back to chapter 13. And we have the story that it says uh, in verse 1, Now it was after this that Absalom, the son of David, had a beautiful sister whose name was Tamar. And Amnon, the son of David, loved her. And Abnon was so fr frustrated because of his sister Tamar that he made himself ill, for she was a virgin and seemed hard to Abnon to do anything to her. Lust has gotten the boy. He has fallen lustily in lust with her, if I can say that. He can't think of nothing else, and, 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 and it's making him sick. Now, girls, you don't, ladies, you don't have that problem as much as a man does. Because we are set to see and go after. It's the way, it's really the way God set it up. We are to go after the woman. Women, you're not to go after the man. No. No, you see, you need to call them out and find the, the one that is best for you. And you do that by seeking the Lord and saying, Father, send me a man that you want me to have that will seek and woo me and love me the way that he's supposed to love me. So here Amnon is in lust with Tamar. And, but it says, but Amnon, verse 3, had a friend whose name was uh, Jonadab, the son of Shemia. David's brother. Okay? And Jonadab was a very shrewd man. And he said to him, O son of the king, why are you so depressed morning after morning? Will you not tell me? Then Amnon said to him, finally he said to him, I am in love with Tamar. He's using the wrong word because he's not in love, he's in lust the sister of my brother Absalom. And Jonadab said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend to be ill. Then your when your father comes to see you, say to him, Oh, please let my sister Tamar come and give me some food to eat, and let her prepare the food in my sight, that I may see it and eat from her hand. So Amnon lay down and pretended to be ill, and when the king came to see Amnon, see him, Amnon said to the king, Oh, please let my sister Tamar come and make me a couple of cakes in my sight. Then I may eat from her hand. <laughs> well, what happens? David agrees. He lets Tamar come, and Tamar comes into his room. He takes Tamar, and he throws her on the bed, and, and he, he, he starts to be sexually aggressive. And she says to him, listen, listen, you don't have to do this. If you'll ask the king for my hand, he'll give me to you. But Amnon didn't hear, and Amnon raped her. And, it's, and after Amnon did that, it says in verse 15, then Amnon hated her with a very great hatred. For the hatred with which he hated her was greater than the love which he had had when he loved her. See, that's why it wasn't love. It was lust. He saw this beautiful woman and he wanted her. You see, women don't go around raping men. Men rape women because of that lust that is in their bodies. And so this was a totally wrong thing. And it says in uh, verse 21 of chapter 13, it says, Now when King David heard of these matters, he was very angry. But Absalom did not speak to Amnon either good or bad, for Absalom hated Amnon because he had violated his sister Tamar. And what is not said here is that David did nothing. That's what set Absalom off. 
that the father of Tamar did nothing. Well, Absalom gets his way because it says in verse 23, now it came about that after two full years, two full years, that Absalom had sheep shearers in Belazor, uh, which is near Ephraim, and Absalom invited all the king's son. And as a matter of fact, he invited everybody, and the king says, no, I can't go. You know, we, you know, some of us need to stay here. And so Absalom says, well, can Amnon come? And when Abnon came, Absalom, verse 28, commanded his servants, saying, See now, when Abnon's heart is merry with wine, and when I say to you, strike Abnon, then put him to death. And that's what Absalom did. Absalom kills Abnon because he rapes his sister. And then Abnon, then Absalom flees. He stays away. David is angry with him, but then David calls him back, but he never talks to Absalom. And in that time, there's a three-year time period there, that's when Absalom starts to really despise his father. And what we read uh, previously in, in uh, chapter 20, no, chapter 15, uh, is because of that hatred, because his dad didn't do anything. David should have disciplined Am Amnon. As a matter of fact, the law states that a man who rapes a woman is to be put to death, and that's probably why he didn't do anything, is because uh, he didn't want to lose his son. And so David would rather not do anything than to have one of his sons put to death. Okay? It's not the only time it happens. It happens again with Adonijah. But we've got to take a break. So let's take that break. Get a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> 